Hello everyone, it's Glenda and welcome back to my channel, Creative Grandma. I'm here with Cody and we have some more yarn inspiration for you. Now, if you're noticing we're wearing the same clothes that we did in the other video, it's because we're doing back-to-back -back videos. Cody has really been trying to help me this month. So I wanna give a special shout out to Lion Brand. Lion Brand supplied me with the yarn today so we could do some yarn swatch videos. So we're going to do the unboxing, show you the yarn that we picked for the yarn swatches. And then as soon as those yarn swatches are done, we're going to bring the video to you, show what all this yarn looks like worked up, and we'll even do a wash and dry test and test it out. So Cody, you wanna do the honors and show them our box of yarn? lionbrand.com now I do want to tell everyone I am an affiliate of lion brand I have been using their yarn since day one how many years ago should I even tell people forever forever ever since I started crocheting way back in the day 40 50 years ago I have been using lion brand yarns and lion brand is a big box store yarn but they have been around forever and I just think they're a fantastic yarn company. So go ahead, Cody, open the box and let's show them the yarn that we picked. Now I did pick some of those newer colors because I was really anxious to see what they look like worked up. And I can't wait to show you this yarn. Now Cody's already thinking of what he wants to make with this yarn. I do. And he helped me pick some of the colors that we chose. I'm really happy with the yarns that Lion Brand's been coming out with recently. So they have some really cool stuff. They do. So let's open it up. Let's get started with the first yarn. So where do you want to set the box? You want to just set it on the floor and we'll just grab them one at a time. Just give them a little shot there. Ooh, look at that. Beautiful yarns. So go ahead, Cody, grab the first yarn and let's tell them all about it. Uh, I don't know which one to start with. The first one. I'm just grabbing the first <laughs> one. I'm not grabbing the one I like the most. Look at this first one. It's Ice Cream Yarn Month at Lion Brand. They're celebrating ice cream yarn. It's hot, and the first thing you think of is, I could use some ice cream right now, couldn't you? Yeah, we said it in the last video, but we're filming back to back, and it's like 95 degrees outside, so it's like 100 in here. It is, it is really hot with the air conditioner off, because we're on the third floor, and it is really hot. All right, so the first one, again, Lion Brand Ice Cream Yarn. Uh, it's Color Love Potion. And it's uh, number 254G. It's a 3.5 ounce skein, 100 grams, 394 yards, 360 meters, 100% acrylic, machine washable, and dryable. And it's a three lightweight yarn. Look at that. And I love the color with the purple and that like mint green with the blue and yeah. then the white. I think that's pretty. Yeah, big fan. Now this yarn is $5.99 a skein. And if you sign up for Lion Brand's newsletters, you get notified when they have sales. And that's how I purchase my yarn. When I purchase my yarns, I like to wait until I see it go on sale. And then I really go in and try to stock up and get what I want for my next project. The next color is one of the newest colors. Now, Cody, there's a, there's a couple that are similar. So once he shows you all the colors, we'll show them side by side so you can see the difference. Which color is this? That's pretty. Yeah, really like this one. This one is called Funfetti. Funfetti. Wow. Pinks, white, yellow, and blue. And another thing is when you get on Lion Brand's website, they do show patterns and kits. If you look at the yarn and you scroll down, it's gonna say patterns made with this yarn and kits made with this yarn. And you can click on either or, and you can see the yarn worked up in certain projects. And it really helps give you an idea of what it's gonna look like worked up. Yeah, really, really like this one. Yeah, I thought that was pretty. I was happy with some of the new colors. Yes. They really come out with some nice colors. You wanna grab the next one? The next one's really bright and bold colors. Now don't comment until you see all of the yarns, but you're gonna to have to let us know in the comments which one you like the best. Here is the next one. <laughs> this one has a goofy name. What is it? It's called Hokey Pokey. Hokey Pokey. <laughs> Hokey Pokey, I'm gonna show. I thought it would be like rainbow, rainbow bright or something. Yeah, this is uh, it's Hokey Pokey. That's a interesting name. 
Yeah, that's it's pretty though. Yes. I, I love rainbow colors. Now the second one so far is my favorite. Same. Yeah. Yep. But but there's another one that I like more. I'm seeing it down there. I can't wait to show you these new colors. These have been out for I think a few weeks, maybe a little longer, but not that long. They haven't been out very long. Yeah. All right, here's our next one. This is a nice one too. And this look how many colors, purple, pink, green, orange, yellow. That has a lot of colors in it. This one is called Color Passion Fruit. Passion Fruit. Wow. That's a pretty one. Really like Now that. I'm having a hard time because I thought that, I like that one. I seen this one, but then I see another one. So. <laughs> yeah, I'm not sure which one's my favorite yet. All right, the next one. Look at this one. This one is called Turtle Tracks. And this one is more on the lines of softer colors of the same color of the other one. So I'm going to hold this one up. You said that was Turtle Tracks? Yep. And this one is Passion Fruit. So I have Passion Fruit and you have what? Turtle Tracks. Yep. So you can see one is lighter, one is darker. Now, is there yellow in yours? I'm not seeing yellow in yours. There's no, this has like a surf green. And this one is more of a lime green. This one almost looks blue. But I'm not seeing yellow in yours, in the one on your side. Uh, yeah, I see a very light yellowish green color right there. Yeah, that's more of a green than they, yellow. They are, they are pretty similar. Yeah. Just lighter. So those are the five colors that we chose. So let us know in the comments section which one was your favorite. I, I can't wait to work them up. Same. Now I'm not sure. I'll have to decide after you work them up. Mm. Yeah, I mean, after we see the I, I think watch. this is going to be my favorite. I just like this because it has more colors in it. It has so many colors. But we'll have to see after we work them up. It's so hard for me to decide. I would agree. I, I have to. I'll pick two. These are my two favorite. So you're picking one of the same ones I did. We do have similar tastes, it's true. don't we? Yep. Yeah. Yeah. So my, you've been around me too long. <laughs> funfetti and passion fruit. Passion fruit, funfetti. Yeah, they're both pretty. Yep. All right. So then we decided to order in some of the new colors of the Mandela Impressions. I think one of them is an older color, but I liked it so much I ordered it in. So I'm really not sure which ones were new and which one was the older color. I think this is one of the newer colors. So go ahead and tell them about that one, Cody. All right, so this is Mandela Impressions. And this is color rainbow, 216J. It's a 5.3 ounce skein, 150 grams, 164 yards, 150 meters. It's 100% acrylic, a five bulky weight, and machine wash, gentle, tumble dry. And Why is that called rainbow? That does not look like a rainbow color to me. I like it. Big fan of it though. Look at that. Yeah, it is very pretty. Very nice colors. Wow. Vibrant. I think some of the colors are very vibrant. Are we working swatches of these ones too? Yes. Yes, we're doing yarn swatches for both. Now there'll be two different videos. We'll come out with one video as soon as we get the ice cream swatches done and then we'll come out with the yarn swatch video for the Mandela impressions. Please watch the videos because these take a long time, a lot of effort. That, right. That's the only thing when you do yarn swatches. I hate I like showing the yarn, but then the yarns are so expensive to do a yarn swatch that I don't cut the ends off anymore. I, I roll it back up so I can use it later. Definitely. Yeah. Most definitely. This next one might be my, my favorite. I've been talking in videos about when we were at the store, I was looking for a yarn and everybody's like, well, what yarn is it? I was looking for the Mandela yarns. And I don't think I've seen, I didn't see this one at the store, but uh, seeing this in person right now, I like this. And that's the sad thing. We live in small town America. We have Hobby Lobby, which they do have a nice selection. Our Joanne stores, it's not too bad. Our Michaels has just about nothing. And when you want Premier or Lion Brand yarns, 
it's just about impossible to find what you want yeah. in our area. It's very hard. And then you're ordering online. So hopefully this is a good way for you to see some of this yarn. And especially when we do the yarn swatch videos, we always do crocheted samples. And most of the time they show knit samples. So when you see a crocheted sample, we try to give you a stitch pattern so you can see what that looks like worked up. And a lot of times when you do those yarn swatch videos, a stitch pattern can make a difference on what your project looks like. Yes. A yarn can look terrible in one stitch pattern. And if you try a different stitch pattern, it could look gorgeous. And you just have to keep that in mind when you get a yarn and you start working it up and you don't like it, try to change your stitch pattern and see if that helps because I, I noticed it can make a difference. Or making your project longer or shorter. Yeah. Yeah. Yep. All right, so let's go to the next one. This one is definitely my favorite. Look at that. That is gorgeous. This one is called tie-dye. Yeah, it kind of reminds you of tie-dye. That purple and pink and blue together is just fantastic. And, and it makes you wonder, who sits there and comes up with this? Who, who sits there and comes up with these color combinations? And that, that's another thing I like to tell people. If you want to make something and you think, well, what colors should I use? What, how can I determine what colors to use? Look at some of these yarns. And if you like the color combinations in some of these cakes, you may enjoy purchasing solid colors separately to make your project. And it gives you an idea, just especially this purple, pink, and blue together. Yes. I think that is really pretty. Yeah, this is really nice. And I also like that uh, it's a five weight. It's bulky, so it's gonna work up a little bit faster. Yeah, I mean we only have oh, we don't have enough to make a blanket, but I this is it's this, enough to wow. make a yarn swatch. And if we like it, we can always get more. True. Yeah. All right. Let's go to the next one. I think this is one of the newer colors I picked. I haven't seen. It. Yeah, it's not it's not really my favorite, but I may change my mind after it's worked up. Yeah. Uh, yeah, I haven't seen this before, but I haven't seen a lot of these. The only place that I see Land Brand Mandela is at Walmart. It's the only place locally, and uh, there's... No selection. Yeah, and even if you find one that you want, there's like two skeins. Yeah, not enough to make yeah. anything. So you have to order this online. Uh, all right, here's the next color. This is Woodstock. And I see some uh, reddish-orange... Uh, bluish I don't even know how to describe this color it's, it's a blue and I, then there's like a greenish color is that a brownish color or like a purplish brown yeah it's you'll have to use your own judgment looking at this one these are a little bit of a strange color combination but I have found in my experience that sometimes when I see a yarn I don't like and then I work it up, it becomes my favorite I because think, it has yeah. a completely different look than what I thought. I think after we see this worked up, we're going to like it more yeah. because it has the, these very contrasting, like brightish, reddish, orange color, and then into like a, a darkish blue. So, And I see some purple in there yeah. and then like a light creamy, I can't tell, is that like a greenish mix with white? Yeah. I'm, yeah, I'm very it's, curious it's, to see how yeah, this Yeah, very up. curious on that. That was my least favorite so far. Yes. Now this one I think is an older color and I kept looking at it. I don't know what's going on because I don't really use browns a lot, but I'm finding that I'm really starting to like those neutral shades. This one I just thought was so pretty. This one so is pretty. sandalwood. And I have a dark brown couch and I thought that would be perfect for my couch. I think it would be perfect for like a hunting cabin or a camp because it has those neutral shades. Yeah. I, I just thought it was pretty. Yeah, this is definitely uh, more of a, a cabin, a living room. I mean, if you walk into somebody's living room and you see a blanket looking like this, it's gonna... That's more like a little girl's bedroom. Yeah. This is more like a leather couch type living room oh, yeah. color. It's very <laughs> soft and it's a bulky yarn. So, I mean, it would make a very warm fuzzy soft blanket and this is just our opinion yeah, you may have sure. a different opinion of what you think would look nice in your home so we have one more color to show you last one i think this is one of the newer colors i like this this one. this one i fell in love with online it just had a beautiful look to it and i'm anxious to see what this looks like worked up this one is 
sunset. Isn't that pretty? I'm seeing purples, pinks, that golden color, and then that mint green, and just a little bit of a cream color mixed in. It almost, to me, had a Victorian look. Yeah. I, I love like anything that. Victorian, and I just, I just thought that was beautiful. And, and sometimes you look at them, you think, are they going to be too busy? I, I just can't wait to try them. I'm just so excited. Now, the Mandela Impressions are $8.99. Now, that's full price. So, if you wait for a sale, you'll get a better buy on the yarn. But I can't wait. I am just so excited to get the yarn swatches done. So, Cody, which one are you going to do first? The Impressions, I know. <laughs> I was thinking about doing the Impressions because I know that I'll get done faster. So thank you everybody for stopping by. I hope you enjoyed seeing some of these new colors that Lion Brand come out with. And I'll put links in the description box underneath the video if you want to check them out. Again, I am an affiliate of Lion Brand. I love their yarns. And if you have used either one of these yarns, leave a comment in the comments section and let everybody know your experience with these yarns. So they're not just getting my opinion, they're getting everybody's opinion. And that can give somebody else a better idea of an overall view of what everybody thinks to make a more informed decision if they want to purchase the yarn. So thank you everybody for stopping by and until next time, stay inspired and happy crocheting. Bye!